I'm going to get Dave here on the line in a little while, but first off, Vinny and I are going to recap segment by segment. I think the worst pay-per-view in years. This pay-per-view was horrible. Horrible. It's hard to argue with that claim. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> this was the worst pay-per-view can, of this year for sure. I should do a Chris Jericho promo and start reading out of the thesaurus. Horrible. Wretched. Vile. Appalling. Useless. Atrocious. Insulting. Devoid of merit. God, this was horrible. This match, this show, did not have a single match above two and a half stars. It had one match that I gave minus five stars. <laughs> that may have been generous. Can't believe the last time I gave a match. I can't even remember the last time I gave a match five and a half stars. <laughs> minus five show stars. Had the worst match I've ever seen. Jesus, it was for sure the worst women's match I've ever seen. I would have to like look at a whole bunch of of the worst matches of all time to determine if this was actually the worst match I've ever seen in my whole life. I I I, I have not seen Sheik and Volkov versus the Bushwhackers in many years, nor Pat Prasco Pat Pat, Pat Patterson versus Gerald Briscoe and the the gown match. There's this, no way that was worse than this. This was for sure worse than the Naturals versus Crystal Soul and Matt Farmer. There's no way this was worse than Patterson and Briscoe. Because those guys have been around long enough that I don't think that it's possible they could have a minus five star match. Maybe yes. minus three, perhaps even minus four. But there's no way. Minus five stars is like... It is a perfect bad rating. Someone someone asked me, are you <laughs> sure it wasn't minus four and three quarter? And the answer is no, I'm sure it's minus five. Because to me... Minus five is one of the worst matches I have ever seen. And Sheik and Volkov versus the Bushwhackers, I remember that off the top of my head. That was actually more than minus five stars. But there, I, I will probably never forget this match. I probably will never forget it as I long as I live. I will never recover from this match. I will never be the same again. It was Jenna Maraska, everybody, the survivor chick, and Charmel. I've never even seen anything like this. From the get-go. In every conceivable way. <laughs> I've never... When Charmel walked out in her sequined gown with black knee-high wrestling boots. Yeah. You knew you were in for something special. Oh, my God. We had the match. <laughs> that match. Charmel with Sojourner Bolt against the Survivor Chick and Awesome Kong. Survivor Chick came out, and all it read on the screen was Jenna. No last name... Not even Survivor Jenna. No, just Jenna. So she had this completely ridiculous song called I Will Survive. She then proceeded to do a cross between the Beautiful People's entrance and Melina's entrance. The lewdest entrance I've ever seen. Basically, and I'm not trying, to, I'm just describing what I saw. It was an entrance designed to show off her asshole. Not just the ass, but her actual <laughs> tunnel. And as she did this, they cut to the other girls who were appalled. Just appalled. It looked for all the world that Jenna had gone on Survivor and earned her money, and her goal was now to channel this success into a career in hardcore pornography. I have a bone to pick with the Observer. Actually, the Observer's from 1992, and it's not even Dave. It's the people that sent house show reports to Dave. If you read through the old Observers on this website, you'll see a bunch of house show matches, and there will be a match that say Bushwhacker Luke against Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And whoever saw the match gave it minus five stars. I've been seeing this for a while. It always pisses me off. Because it's like, I guarantee that fucking match was not minus five stars. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was the worst match on the show. I'm sure if you were watching a lot of Japanese pro wrestling in the early 90s, or even some, some of the best stuff in WCW, or even the best stuff in WWE... I'm sure that was the worst match you saw, but it was not fucking minus five stars. And these assholes that sent in these matches claiming they were minus five stars, they had no idea what they were in for in 2009. That is clear. Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Bushwhacker Luke. You're going to pay to watch Luke and Duggan instead you know, of this match? That would have been one of the best matches on this fucking show. Yes. I guarantee it. Yes. So they had this match. I hope for their sake those people died before 2009 came along. They didn't have to witness this. Jenna... She got worse the longer the match went on. She got completely blown up. She could do absolutely nothing. She had the worst offense I've ever seen in my entire life. That's People were booing. They tried the catfight spot where they roll over the ref, and nobody cared at all. The only fucking thing missing from this was the Fire Russo chant. I have no idea how we didn't get that chant during this match. I think I heard one guy say it one time, and when his friends did not join in, he immediately gave up. So Survivor Chick ended up 
ripping out some of Charmel's extensions. So then Sojo hit the ring, and she got tossed outside. Kong was supposed to catch her, but missed and did not care at all. I mean, not at all. So then Charmel demanded Kong give her the extensions, which Jenna had given Kong. Kong gave her a karate chop to the neck. Jenna proceeded to do a lap dance on her face and pin her with her vagina. This was the worst women's match I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I still maintain it was the worst match I ever saw. Jenna, who had been earlier been tripped by Sojo Bolt, had fallen to the earth unmoving. Yeah. Like she'd been shot in the head with a large gun. Yes. And after this, and the match continued, she made her comeback with, yes, the worst offense I've ever seen. Worst punches Ever. And just stopped selling completely. Yeah. And then by the time this match was done, okay, I will now do my sexy dance on Charmel's face. I'm going to go watch this match again, actually. Just to, I just need to prove to myself that I actually saw it. I'm just going to read my notes verbatim here. They're, they're brief, but I want you to know every, every word is in capital letters. And followed by an exclamation point. Jenna's entrance, Charmel's gear, it's horrible, it's getting worse, Jenna is babyface, worst comeback ever, worst match ever. Thumbs down. Minus five stars, everybody. Minus five stars. That was a legitimate, honest-to-God, negative five-star match. I mentioned during the time, I it was so much worse than I expected. And you asked what I was expecting, and that was a fair question. And all I can say is, my imagination was limited. WWE would have found a way to smoke and mirrors this. Or actually, better yet, they wouldn't have ever put this match together. Not TNA. Oh, no. They had Jenna running ropes. They would have... <laughs> supposedly... I don't know actually what it was you know, that she really I, I did. I am still more offended by her punches than her rope running. If you want to even call them that. Her, her, her hand strikes. They were the worst I've ever seen. I think I, I was. there were two kids outside your condo here playing basketball. I think if we went up there and said, throw fake punches at your little brother, it would have been a million times better. Oh, of course it would have. Yeah. Without any question whatsoever. I think anyone listening to this could have had a better match. Granny and Brent would have had a better brawl. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Without hurting each other. 